Hi folks, Tyler here, and I've got a box in front of me because today we're going to be unboxing the Monoprice Mini Select 3D printer, and I'm going to walk you guys and girls through how to set this up. This is going to be a video mainly for people who have never 3D printed anything in their lives. You know, if this is your first printer and it's actually a really good one, I'm going to show you how to get started from opening the box all the way through your initial prints, some of the first modifications that you might want to make to the printer and end up with some more advanced things that you might be interested in doing, but really aren't necessary to get going. So let's get started and take this thing out of the box. Now this is actually my second mini select printer. Um, I got the first one when Monoprice did their kind of initial amazing deal on these. Um, this one actually came from Jet.com, um, which had a pretty good deal. You can typically find this printer on sale for anywhere from $165 to $175. So see if we can get it out of the box here. <clears throat> well, looks like I'm gonna have to cut the box down. <clears throat> okay, box in a box. This thing actually comes pretty well packaged for such an inexpensive printer. So, right on top, we've got the uh, thank you for your order and telling you to go to the website to get the owner's manual to download it as a PDF. But of course, you don't need that because you're watching this video. over. Another thing that comes with a little bit of kind of test filament, but frankly, I wouldn't use this stuff at all. Uh, it's not enough to actually do anything. And because this is a Bowden setup, you're going to use most of the material just getting it to run down the line. Um, in this little box, power supply. And we got in this one. So the little box, we've got the SD card and the Allen wrench that you'll need to tweak, namely the build plate on the printer, uh, USB cable, any micro USB cable will do, power cord for the power brick, the spool holder for the side, and the squeegee tool to get prints off, although I have yet to really need this. Okay, so here it is. There's our printer right there. Let's go ahead and pull this out of the box. side. First, first thing you'll note, there's some pieces of tape on here um, and it already has some masking tape pre-applied as a print surface. We're going to be improving on that later, but for now you should just leave that in place. Um, so the first thing we'll do here is just take this piece of tape off to free up the print head 
hot end and the extruder assembly. There we go. And then I believe, let's double check that nothing else is on here that needs to be adjusted or changed. That should be, that should be the only thing that you need to actually um, do anything with. So, can check, yep. So that's flow going back and forth just fine. You can take off the little uh, protective screen for the front LCD screen. There we go. And that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Um, there's a couple of small things that you might want to do before we actually get to printing. I'll walk you through those and hopefully you ordered a spool of filament with the printer, either ABS or PLA. For our first print, I'm gonna be using PLA on this printer. It's much easier to print with. And then we'll switch over to ABS to print some more mechanical parts for it later. Uh, but for now, we've got it initially unboxed, on to setup.